Lincoln opens July 1st, and it's good all July and August. Uh, I think we offer some of the best Lincoln fishing I've seen anywhere. Uh, I don't know if anybody gets them any bigger than we do. We have to run to the Gulf, which is a far ride every day, but consistently, if we can get to where they are, everybody usually catches their fish, and we get some pretty big ones. I think today we got one right around 49, 50 inches, and you're pushing 50 pounds with that fish, which I don't know anywhere you can go get link caught that big. Get him! Oh, dude. Oh my God. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that's so heavy. <laughs> what is that? The tank? I don't know what it, what it is. <laughs> Let's cut this right here. That's a huge thing. Holy! God. That's a ling! Dude! One. Dude! Hold on, don't lift, don't lift his head out of the water! Oh my god! Ready, watch your face! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! How's that? That's a 50 pounder. Oh my god! Yeah. That was the craziest bite of my life! Yeah, look at the mouth on that thing. Look at the fish coming out of that thing's mouth. That's a legit 50 pounder. There you go. <laughs> Trophy link cut. Still on? Yep, still on. You big? No, not really. Do you think it's a yellow eye? No, it's a link. It's a link. There's one below it. See that? There's one below yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Hang on. There's one right below it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a link following the wing up. <laughs> Anger. Yeah, this one. We'll let this one go too. Okay. Okay? Little cool guy. Yeah! <laughs> this is crazy. Animals. Triple wings. One after another. Boom, boom, boom. Can I get down there get the board? Come on. Get a big one though. For your first day, you, you kind of know where they are. First day, not bad. You Second know? day, I trained yesterday. Oh. Today's my first day by myself. <laughs> what do you got? I don't want that. I don't want that either. <laughs> Wayne, coming up. Real, real, real. Oh. <laughs> They're all the same exact size. These are all seniors. <laughs> They're just, you know. Oh, good. Try to get yeah. We don't have a lot of fishing pressure in Valdez and where we fish as much as some of the other towns and ports in Alaska. There's only about 10 or 12 halibut charter boats that run daily out of Valdez. So, you know, tops, you might see four or five other boats in the course of a day in some of the areas we go. So it's, it's pretty low pressure compared to some of the other towns. We don't have the big head boats with the, you know, 16 and 20 packs going out there every day. We got yet another double. We've been doubled up all day. Captain Brian's got one here. Whoa! I think Joe has a it's winner a over here. On this one, guys. Got some drag going on this one. He knows he's hooked now. Let's see which one is going to come to the surface first. It's like Action Jackson out here. Not too bad. Calm. I like this. Funny. I ordered up Mother Nature. I said, calm. We're 35 miles offshore. Don't mess with me. I get seasick. Just Not to, today. Just get sick. We ordered up calm water. I don't have to listen. We're going to check on Joe. Look at this. this one feels oh, we got a double that. good. We got to get John with the gaff. John, get the gaff. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. John got the gaff. Yeah. Exactly. John's from Pennsylvania. He John is from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. You don't know what a gaff is, but he know found what a gaff it. Is. That's right, but he knows what scrapple is, so he's good. <laughs> You see it? It's the worst. It's down there somewhere. Grapple. Yeah. All right. Ooh, nice one. Hey, nice right one. In the boat. Right in the boat. Yes, sir. All right. Good job. Woo! Good All right, we got one down. And one more to go. All right. There see him is. yet? That's a nice one. You see him? That's a nice one. Oh! That's a Somebody nice one. Somebody playing baseball. Baseball! Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Oh, that's a keeper. That is a keeper. Holy. Up, up, up. Got him. Look at it. Woo. Oh. Look at that. Valdez, Alaska. Look at this. 
Maldives, Alaska, what a day. Man, this has been amazing. Not bad. <laughs> Go back a bunch of little ones, found a bunch of nice ones. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. You see it? Yep. What is it? It's a monster, monster wake up. Keep railing. Monster wake up. This one's dying. Alright? It's gonna come right underneath the boat, so we can be ready. Boom! Oh, no. That one's dying. Boom! Oh. That guy. Oh, there you go. Check out this massive lane con. Wow, I couldn't even believe it. That is awesome, dude. That's oh, this is worth waking up in, early in the morning for. What a cool looking fish. So I'm going to show you what we use for the lane cod, rockfish. We catch halibut on, on these as well. Uh, 16 ounce lead heads. We have 24s if the tide's a little bit stronger. We make all our own leaders at the shop. Grub tails, uh, everything we use. I soak all my bait in the uh, halibut nectar. I got a big, oh, I got a rotten plug of it down here. I go through a gallon a week of this stuff. Soak all my bait, doesn't matter what I'm using, if it's herring, salmon carcass, tip the end with that, put a little scent in there. We have 150 pound braid that we use, the Shimano Power Pro. And we have 700s light jig rods. A lot of guys, especially guys that know how to fish or fish a lot, appreciate that we have lighter jig rods. We have move rods, you know, we have the heavier rods with the 800 reels when we're soaking bait for halibut and stuff. But when we put, when we're going after link cod, rockfish, guys like the lighter rods, you get a little action, you actually feel like you're fishing instead of just horsing up a fish with a meat rod and a rod holder. So it's fun, people seem to like it. You tell what it is? Yellow eye. <clears throat> He's got one too. Double, yep, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, that one's shaking a little bit more. Yep. This is a yellow eye. That's some head shakes. Yeah, this one's starting to give up a little bit. Yep. Yellow eye. It's a nice one. Not a bad one at all. Yep. Wow. Yellow eye. Yellow eye. Oh, there you go. Can you swing that into me? There you go. First two yellow eye of the day. Uh, legally, you're supposed to keep the first non-pelagics you catch. So you're allowed four rockfish out here, but you can only keep one pelagic each. So one non-pelagic, sorry. So these are non-pelagic rockfish, yellow eyes. So these are going in the box. Good to eat, fun to catch, and we can get a couple more. Ooh. That is no yellow eye. That looks like a good that one. Is no yellow eye. Put the camera down for two minutes, grab a rod, and I think I got the ling that I wanted. It's one of the many reasons why we come up here to Valdez, Alaska. I just saw it, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. There it is. Sea monsters. Really nice one, look at that thing. Holy. It's the biggest one we got all day. Don't try to lift his head out of the water. Don't lift his head. Don't lift that head. Step back. We're up. One more. Roll him in. Roll him in. Roll Look at that. Look at that. Oh, get, him. get him. Get him. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, he kicked the jig. Right? He kicked the jig. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's why we come to Alaska. Out here on the Gulf of Alaska, this is what we come here for. You know, all along the West Coast, it may be hard to get one this big. Brian does it every day here in Valdez, Alaska. Another beautiful fish. Let's grab, grab another one. When we rockfish, and go for the link cod. We have lighter rods, uh, jig rods, lighter tackle. So it's a little bit more fun. It feels like you're fishing a little bit more maybe than halibut when you just sit there on anchor and stare at a rod. You know, kind of breaks up the day a little bit. You know, not everybody, not every, not every charter boat has 12 rods with jig rods and everything and we'll move around as much as we do, but we, we really target the rockfish and the link cod and it's just a different type of fishing. And, guys who, you know, they jig for crappy or they bass fish and they're like, oh man, this is what I'm used to, you know, they, you're drifting over structure and you're, you're marking fish on the sounder and, and people really get into it that way because you, you can feel the hit and, and you fight it and it's a little bit more, to me personally, it's more exciting than halibut fishing uh, as opposed to just sitting there kind of bottom fishing and watching your uh, rod dip up and down in the waves. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Valdez, Alaska. Now this is a place we've been many, many times, okay? You guys know that it's one of our favorite places in really all of North America. Reason being, it has some of the most amazing scenery in the world, some of the best fishing in the world, and you see more wildlife 
than you could ever imagine. It, it's really an angler's dream. It's a bucket list trip, which is what today was. Now, today was even more than that for guys like me. Now, I've been to Valdez over a dozen times with Valdez Outfitters, and every other time, the water was too rough for me to get in the Gulf of Alaska. Now, other anglers may have been good with it, but you know what? I get seasick. And every time there was even, you know, a two-foot swell, I said, nope, I'm not going way out offshore. I'm going to get sick. Well, this time, Captain Brian called me the night before and said, it's going to be so calm tomorrow, I don't even think you need to take your motion sickness pills. I said, what? I don't have to take any Dramamine, no Bonine? He said, you should probably take it anyway, but there's a good chance you're not going to need it. So what did we do? We left basically Valdez Harbor, and you'll see there's boats everywhere. And we basically left and went right through that you know beautiful glacial water and we started to pass some cruise ships you know after a half hour we left the Valdez arm and headed into Prince William Sound everybody knows Prince William Sound is one of the most beautiful places on earth you see killer whales you see eagles you know just an endless amount of different wildlife from there we continued on we went all the way out into the Gulf of Alaska it was almost a two and a half hour boat ride to get there and that's only because it was calm but you know what? That's what it took to get some of the best lingcod fishing in the world. Literally, every time we put our bait down there, we caught another fish, and another fish, and another fish. The lingcod fishing was so good, it was almost indescribable how good that it was. Now, we caught all of our fish today on two things. We used basically jigs, you know, diamond jigs, different kind of jigs, tipped with you know, well, the first time we used jigs, when we were fishing a little bit shallower, we put lunker lotion on our spoons, and that was anise herring lunker lotion and shrimp lunker lotion. Everybody knows saltwater fish likes those things. And then we went after the real big lingcod. We know those big lingcod love bait. So we took the same thing we've done for the last 10 years up here, and the same thing the guys at Valdez Outfitters do every single day. We grab pieces of herring, that have been soaked in Potsky halibut nectar. These guys at Valdez Outfitters let them soak overnight and they want that smell really to get in there. And then what do they do? They tip them on those jigs because we all know that bait makes these fish go crazy. Sure enough, we got lingcod up to 50 pounds. Do the same thing and you'll have a trip of a lifetime just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.